Once the treatment is complete, you will schedule with the receptionist a return appointment for your next visit. Most chemotherapy is administered once a week or once every few weeks. Although patients may not have any immediate adverse reaction after treatment, we usually recommend you have someone accompany you to drive you home. In most cases, you may have to return the next day to receive a white blood cell growth factor injection. A white blood cell growth factor is a drug that stimulates the production of white blood cells. The drug is given to prevent a drop in the white blood cell count, which is a common side effect associated with chemotherapy treatment. You may also receive a red blood cell growth factor to stimulate the production of red blood cells. Anemia is one of the complications that can occur with cancer and chemotherapy treatment. Red blood cell growth factors are commonly given once a week or once every other week. Before leaving, the oncology nurse will provide you with additional materials that outline any possible side effects and any recommended steps you could take in the days immediately following your treatment. In addition, she will give you a phone number to call should you have questions following your treatment. Understanding what to expect when visiting an oncologist removes the fear of the unknown and helps you better navigate the process of meeting with and receiving treatment from an oncologist. When I was first diagnosed with the uh, cancer, it was scary. But after seeing and meeting the oncologist, um, I was a little bit more relaxed about it. Still a little thought there of uh, what was going to happen, but after going through the treatments, um, things started getting better and a lot easier. My mind uh, was easier to deal with and I found out that there is life. I, I'm, I'm not afraid anymore. I'm Ellen Baker and this is Oncology Podcasting. Be sure to visit oncologypodcasting.com for the latest news and information.